Brendan Voge, Hewlett Packard. I'm the system architect for the new DL980. This is the new workhorse, uh, big brother to the DL580. Eight sockets, eight cores per socket, 64 CPU cores, 128 threads, two terabytes of memory, 16 I.O. slots. Either great for big uh, uh, SQL kind of databases or server consolidation. Phenomenal platform for that. All right, well, let's take a look under the hood. Let's see what we got here. Okay. So I've got an upper CPU tray here. Okay. There's four of the Intel 7500 CPUs, Nehalem's. Yep, these with are nice new ones, huh? 16 DIMMs per CPU, embedded memory controller. Excellent. Very fast, 100 nanosecond kind of local memory. Got a whole second set below, just like that. Four more CPUs, 64 more DIMMs down there. Again, that two terabyte memory footprint. Back of the box, so you can see, uh, again, high similarity with the 580, a lot of reuse from them. And the special sauce for us, node controllers developed by Hewlett Packard to get you better performance in the eight socket configuration. Okay. Whether it's on one big application or it's multiple applications consolidated under one OS or under multiple OSs with hypervisors. Okay. Got these node controllers, give you really good scaling for uh, the snoop coherency problem that you get in an eight socket system. Okay. And what is that? What is that problem? In a nutshell. Uh, the problem is I access memory and at the same time I have to go query all the caches. Do they have a copy? In an eight socket system, some of those queries are double hops. I, I can't send it directly to the CPU. I have to send it to the guy who's next to him. In many cases, the memory read comes back before that cache uh, snoop does. Okay. And if with the node controllers, I don't have to wait. Okay. Memory latency is about 30% faster on average. Excellent. And what do we got for I.O.? 16 I.O. slots, all Gen 2, a bunch of options of a mix of E's or X's or different flavors of E's. First 11 slots are all full height, full length. Next five slots are low profile and huge potential bandwidth on this, yep. right? The link-based architecture. Excellent. Well, thanks very much. Thanks for showing it to me. And